chance to kick? Did he give you a chance to even warm up, or did you go? Out I I didn't get to warm up, so that's my excuse. No, but uh, we planned like last week if we were going to score again, like, and we had joked around in practice. Like I made a couple field goals or PATs, so it was going to be last week. And then I remember right they fumbled it, they botched the punt, and then we're about to score, like 30 seconds left. And BT comes up to me and he's like, do you want it? you want it? And I was like, I didn't even think about it. And I was like, all right. And so I just sprinted over to the offensive huddle. And as soon as I broke, I was like, Coach Sweeney, let me, let me get the PAT. He was like, you got it. So, but I didn't, no, I didn't really warm up. I didn't kick one before. So I'll do that next time for sure. If there is a next time, I may have ruined my chance. But I think you had a few, uh, a kickoff last year. I, yeah, two you years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I had a kick. One of those before the season ends, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, what, what can you say about this, the, the job that the defense did on Saturday night? Man, just preparation. It all shows, you know, on game day. You win the game Monday through Friday, and or Sunday through Friday, depending on how you look at it. But uh, and we've just been doing a really good job at uh, preparing and being ready for what they throw at us and executing the game plan, and it's just, it's showing up on Saturday. So. It was it was a blitz. It was a blitz. I wish I could tell you I read it that fast. That'd be pretty impressive. No, it was a blitz, and uh, just a good call by Coach V. And f- quarterback freaked out a little bit, and the exchange was already kind of fumbled. And then I just kind of knocked it loose for sure. And then Chad was there. I wish he would have scored. Uh, but you and Chad practice those in your living room? <laughs> no, no, no. We joke a little bit, but no. Did you guys on the defense talk at all about the, the ten games under three hundred streak under? guys in Alabama over the last 20 years, the only teams that have done that. Yeah, so I didn't even realize that was a thing that was going on until the ninth game last week. Or I was like, oh, okay, I was like this is cool. And then I knew, I remember, I wasn't really thinking about it during this game. And then I think Daniel Boyd came to me on the sideline and was like, they're at 284 right now or something. With, and then they fumbled the punt, and I was like, let's go. So we kept them under again. So, But I didn't really realize until about two weeks ago. And I was like, this is a pretty cool stat to have. James, how does it feel getting that first goal, that goal out of the way, winning the Atlantic, knowing you're going to be in the championship game? And how do you guys keep focused the rest of the way until the championship? Yeah, well, Coach Sweeney always says you can't you know, win 15 or 14 until you win 11. So none of all those other goals and dreams can't happen until we win the next one. And that's something we've always kept in mind around here. I mean, it's all about, it's about the next game. And, you know, any, all those other possibilities aren't there unless you win that next one. Is it any easier to do that because you've gone through it a couple of times where, you know, you've gone through this process and understand that it takes step by step by step to get there? I mean, yeah, I've definitely, like, this is my fourth year now, you know, and I've – been on the lose a game, win the natty side. I've been on the lose the playoff side, and I've been on the 15 and 0 side. I've seen every scenario, but all of them have led to the playoff, which is good for me. And yeah, I've seen how, you know, how to handle a season, and I've learned from a lot of a lot of older guys that have done it at a high level. And I'm fortunate enough to be able to be doing that right now. So, do you think these younger guys understand about how to handle a season? They're definitely learning. Yeah. I can tell you that. That uh, delayed mesh point that, that Wake has, very unique. Um, yeah. What advantage is that given? Does that kind of force you guys to declare and maybe uh, mitigate your speed advantage a little bit? I mean, yeah, but you just got to be very disciplined versus these guys. You know, just build that wall and, and hold the fort down pretty much. You know, can't be jumping out of gaps. You just got to be very, very disciplined. What are your thoughts about running down the field? The well, I, so the I'm, uh, for just for uh, – uh, at the Death Valley. Uh, well, fortunately for me, I mean, I got another year left, and I plan on coming back. I, I mean, I'm I'm gonna be here next year. I can tell you that straight up right now. Uh, so for me, I mean, yeah, it's sad. Last game in Death Valley for this year, but uh, and then definitely there's been there's some seniors that I've uh, I've been with my, my whole time here, and it will be their last time. And you know, it's sad to think about, but just try to make the most of it. Did you recently come to that decision that you'll definitely do that? I mean, I've kind of, I mean, I, I'm known, you know, I don't plan on going anywhere.